Whenever there are riots anywhere in the world, Luke is there on the ground. Oh shit, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, no. oh, I'm a fucking journalist, you motherfucker! You immediately disperse. You must leave the immediate vicinity. When politicians need a reality check, he faces them and confronts them head on. What happens when you worship Moloch at the Bohemian Grove? Bro. When there's an injustice in the world, we expose it. They also talk about some hippy dippy stuff like mushrooms, DNT, acid, quantum physics, consciousness, and seeking solutions to the problems that we face. We travel the world, question authority, stand up for our rights, and fight back against the elite with the greatest weapon humanity has ever had in history, a video camera. We are fully funded by you and only you. No one else tells us what to do because together, and together we are change. New videos every Sunday through Thursday. Subscribe. Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to this is Peace for Anarchism on the Voluntary Virtues Network every Thursday at 1 p.m. And you could also find me on theconsciousresistance.com and theseedsofliberty.com. So today I have Luke Gradowski uh, from We Are Change. <coughs> Um, and uh, he's been doing a lot of great stuff. Uh, going, he was at the G7 summit uh, f a few months ago, and uh, so he's always doing something new. <laughs> so good to have him. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, man, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So, so Luke, what have you been doing recently? You know, what you, what have you been up to? Uh, just, just, just tell me some of the stuff you've been uh, you've been following. Every day is totally different. It never ceases to change, whether it's talking about the death of holistic doctors all over the United States, talking to researchers down in Orlando. Uh, just shot another video documenting and studying less lethal munitions down in Miami, Florida. Uh, got tasered and gassed during that by a special ops commando mercenary guy who didn't reveal his identity and decided to show us the true effects of that. Uh, before that, we were at the presidential debates in California, where they told me I couldn't enter through email. I showed up anyway. They showed me the list of me not being on the do not let in list, and we still were able to get in there, confronted a whole bunch of politicians, a whole bunch of media pundits. We're breaking down news when it comes to Putin and Obama and their meetings and the UN General Assembly. We're all over the place. We're jumping around like a crazy grasshopper. <laughs> Uh, in a field of utter wild craziness, beauty and darkness at the same time. It, it is, it, it's, an amazing, it's an amazing job that I'm able to have because of people who watch the videos, who click share, who click like, who click follow, and are able to transcend their energy um, and allow me to speak for them um, in the streets, on the grind, in the field, not just behind the studio. So, so yeah, I saw some of your videos where you, you know, you were at, uh, I guess, these politician debates or, you know, you meet up with politicians and you ask them, you know, the hard questions and <laughs> sometimes they answer you, most of the times they ignore you or, you know, go on to, you know, to the other, uh, the other uh, you know, news uh, reporters with easier questions. So, you know, can you tell us a little bit about that and about, like, some of the hard questions you ask some, some of these people? Well, it's just about doing your job. It's about paying attention to what's happening in this world and being like, hey, um... Why have we been supporting Syrian uh, Islamic uh, fundamentalists and radicals and rebels and ISIS and giving them weapons and arms from all these years when we're supposed to be fighting them? Why are we bombing ISIS supposedly for 13 months but have made no significant headway in destroying them but they actually have grown during our 13-month bombardment? Why is Russia now bombing them and defeating them and causing huge losses for them finally in a span of a few days when in 13 months we were helping them grow and expand and we were being lied to by our government. Uh, it was a whole ploy and, and, and just simple questions like that. And it's fascinating. You know, our government, Barack Obama, has a kill list. This man has a deposition matrix. This man every Tuesday decides who lives and dies. This man is a part of the U.S. military forces that have bombed a hospital. 
but we're told he cares about our safety and human life, so we need to get rid of uh, guns. That is two complexing views. You are a murderer who is claiming you care about human... No, you do not. Like, call a spade a spade, be honest, and, 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 and really, like, everybody knows politics in the mainstream media are full of crap. Everybody does, but, but it's about calling them out on it that really could put some truth in there. And when they face the truth, they don't know how to respond. They stumble, they, they're, they call security, they try to have me arrested, they have me kicked out. I have been arrested, I have been... All these horrible things they do to me, and I'm just asking a question about their story. It makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. Yeah, when, uh, when when some people, they talk about politicians and or even mass, you know, like these mass shootings, like, oh, this horrible, this person should be put behind bars. <laughs> and I say, well, you know what, actually, politicians are the biggest mass murderers. Um, <laughs> the ones that you're supporting, the ones that you're trying to elect. Uh, it's kind of interesting to see the, uh, you know, the change in, uh, <laughs> I, I say the cognitive dissonance, right? <laughs> they see these people have angels and then yet they want to. And, and that they don't see, they don't, they don't uh, acknowledge the blood that's on their hands. You know, what do, what do you say to people like that? I mean, just wake up, look around, pay attention to what's happening in this world because it's going to affect you sooner or later. You know, our taxes are going to funding ISIS. Yes, that happened. Why do you think they have so many Toyota trucks that the State Department ordered? You know, people are asking questions, and then like, look at the evidence. It's right there in front of you. Just pay attention, people. Why do you think uh, the Iraqi military is finding U.S. and Israeli weapons when they're defeating ISIS and they're retreating? They're finding arms depots of U.S. and Israeli military equipment. Oh, ISIS! Like, like, what? What? Is not, this does not make sense. Hello, like, this is affecting you. Million, people are dying. People are being butchered. People are being slaughtered. People are suffering tremendously. And it's your money that is fueling that, that is supporting that. There should be a grip of consciousness within all of American people understanding what our government is actually doing behind the scenes. Not behind, not in front of the mainstream media bullcrap with the horse stream media and the prostitutes purporting the lies of the very few, trying to make us believe that black is white and then white is black. No, it's not. Like, like they call a spade a spade. Be honest. Just be truthful, at least, so you know what you're engaging with, what you're supporting. Uh, because you're part of it. You're, it's on. It's on you. It's on all of us. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So, oh, so please, can you, can you tell us a little bit about the Change Media University? Uh, and I, I know you recently started that, and uh, you know what, what's your goal with that, and uh, you know what, what are you trying to achieve? Well, like I, I've been doing this for so long. Like I'm already getting kicked out and banned from venues, and security <laughs> guards and Secret Service recognize me all the damn time now. There's nothing hiding my nose. I can't even put on the disguise. It doesn't work. Uh, I, and then it takes so much time and investment just to like get in there. And then sometimes it's not even worth it because I don't get anything. So, like I want, I want people from all over the world who will hold our government accountable, who will hold corporations, banksters, the few people that are in charge accountable for their actions. The best way to do that is to ask simple questions, is to be a journalist. In this day and age, anybody and everybody, if I could do it, if I could create a media company that gets more views than the mainstream media, if I could do it, you could do it too. And you can make it your life to live free, independent, out of any control, self-funded, I teach you everything from A to Z, how to monetize, how to brand, how to get press credentials, how to get into events, how to find events, how to ask questions, how to do confrontations, how to deal with police, how to do everything with Change Media University. It's a full online college. It's a full online resource. High school students get it for free. I definitely recommend anyone who is interested in having their voice amplified on the Internet, having an effect on our society, to check out Change Media University on wearechange.org. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be a good, uh, a good uh, uh, competition to the you know traditional college <laughs> university route. You know, people should not confuse it <laughs> with that. Yeah, yeah, you could go to debt and and study outdated crap that isn't really relative because technology and society is changing so fast. And you could be indebted and make coffee for Bill O'Reilly or for freaking hack some lies from Brian Williams and be a total slave, debt slave, because you spent and borrowed money from these evil. I'm not going to curse. <laughs> These evil, ruthless... Uh, uh, you know what I want to say. It, it makes no sense. Like, do, like, no. Be independent. Be free. Don't get yourself indebted. Uh, you know? Just do it. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good very good message. You know, you know, stay out of debt. That's one of the, one of the biggest... Uh, uh, ways of people enslave themselves is, you know, they, they think that this information is worth, you know, $50,000, $100,000, $150,000 and, 
you know, and it's just, you're right, it's, it's debt slavery, and so, yeah, a lot of people <laughs> can fall into that trap. It's not, and, and they don't even teach you anything relative to what you're supposed to know in this d- new changing day and age. They don't. They don't at all. Yeah, I mean, it's a dinosaur institution, and it's, it's just like, um, you know, it's just like the post office, just like the government, just like public schools, it's uh, outdated, and it's going to it's gonna collapse, and it's, it's obsolete, basically, so. Well, is, is there anything else you want to add before, uh, before we end? No, I mean, um, a big part of our stories is the audience, not only helping find stories, but also helping me crash on their couch and helping me get rides to places and finding interesting people to talk to. I travel all the time. I don't live anywhere. I live everywhere. Uh, so definitely follow me on uh, Luke We Are Change on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. It's all Luke We Are Change. Participate. Uh, you guys are part of it uh, just like I am and everyone is. And uh Take it where you want it, and I am all yours. Beautiful. Luke, we are change. Uh, we are change.org. Follow him on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitter, anywhere. <laughs> just, just Google him. Tinder, <laughs> anywhere. Get it in and in. <laughs> Follow him. He's doing some good work. All right. Uh, so, this is Peace Fanaticism on the Voluntary Virtues Network and thusseedsoflibertycom and theconsciousresistance.com. Wishing everyone have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.